21 days to go now until the election. We're starting to see somewhat of a shift here in Michigan. Yeah, we are, and it all has to do with who's making campaign stops and how many ads you see here on television. So let's bring in Mara McDonald live tonight. Mara, uh, the big question here is, you said in the tease, is Michigan still in play in this presidential election? And Kimberly, here's the answer. The polls suggest no, it's not in play. But then you see the ad buys and the campaign stops, and it suggests yes, it is. This week alone, Eric Trump is in Oakland County, Vice President Mike Pence is in Grand Rapids tomorrow, and the Trump campaign has re-upped its ad buy in Metro Detroit. It says a couple things. One, they see some poll numbers that they are reacting to, that being the first one. And second of all, if they're going to spend money, it says that they think they have a chance to win. You're not going to throw money at a place that you know you're not going to win. Polls in Michigan have steadily shown Biden ahead, ranging from five to eight points, but we are not privy to campaign internal polls. Eric Trump at a campaign stop in Novi today suggested his father would be stumping in Michigan soon. In addition to the presidential race here, you have one of the most hotly contested Senate races in the country between John James and Gary Peters. The New York Times poll just yesterday said that was a one point race. It tells me that John James has locked up the Republican support across the board. Uh, hard conservatives, religious conservatives, moderate Republicans, they're all on board with John James. They are not with Donald Trump, and that's why there's a difference in the numbers. Back here live, let's remember 2016 put common wisdom in this state is how it goes politically on its head. What we see in 2020, well, I guess we'll know in three weeks. We're live in Farmington Hills tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Back to you. Exactly right. Okay, Mara, we appreciate it.